So the day has come. I'm going to be selling the Performante. And it's not because anything's wrong with the car. Honestly, I've absolutely loved having this car for the last two years. But I've had it for two years. Put a lot of miles on it. Experienced, I feel, everything that it has to offer. Really pushed it to its limits, you know, on the road and on the track. And uh, even started to feel some of its limitations in both of those contexts. So I want to see what else is out there. But before I send it off, the car is actually technically sold, but before I send it off, I um, figure I'd do a little overview. Show you around the car, show you what I like. Can't really think of too many things I dislike about it, but if I think of anything, I will show you that as well. Anyways, let's just start with the design. I mean, as you can see, this car is absolutely striking. Actually, that maybe could be, <laughs> that could be one of the things that can sometimes uh, bite back. Like this car draws a lot of attention. Um, if that's your thing, wonderful. It isn't really my thing so much, and um, I do find sometimes people will follow me or stalk me on the highway or try to get pictures or whatever, which isn't necessarily the safest thing to do. Um, I don't mind so much the attention like at gas stations or whatever. It's not my favorite, but I can tolerate that. But it's just when it sort of leads to a potentially dangerous situation. Um, as you can see, the front is just so aggressive on this. There's not a lot of cars. If you kind of look, not a lot of cars that have just such an aggressive front end. Yeah, it's pissed off. It's frowning. I really like it, and I think the Performante in particular is one of the most aggressive front ends. You can also see, if you look here, that is the uh, front splitter with the ALA flaps there. It's the active aero flaps right there. Moving on to the side. These are actually not my favorite wheels for the car, but they're much more handy having the five lugs. Uh, the other ones, which are the five spoke wheels, I think look cooler, but they're center lock wheels. They don't have five lugs like most cars. And they can be a real pain if you're trying to sort of check the torque at the track or if you have a flat or you need to take it off, you need a special tool for that. So that, that could be annoying. This is actually the more convenient option. And these are the Narvi wheels and uh, they're actually the lighter wheel. So if you care about that, that's the way to go. Um, at the back you can see, this is the wing. This is the thing that makes it a Performante. And there's your ALA, your uh, active arrow, if you will. And underneath here, you can see those are the vents. So that's how it, it is basically torque vectoring the air as you drive. Very smart computer system that senses what you want to happen and how the car's driving. We'll stall the wing in a straight line to make it faster. It'll work with the front splitter here, which is also active to make the car as planted as it could be at all speeds. And it genuinely does feel that way. I mean, I don't know how much the active aero, how much is the suspension, the chassis, the car. You know, it, it all feels pretty seamless, which is pretty cool. You guys can also see massive, massive exhaust here. Um, and with this car being mid-engine, there really isn't much distance. These, uh, I have seen videos. Uh, they, they shoot flames <laughs> at night. <laughs> you can see them. It's kind of cool. And they glow red. I've driven behind another Performante and the pipes are just glowing red. Pretty cool. People often ask me if the uh, exhaust on here is stock. And it is. It just doesn't sound like it is. In fact, when I took the car to Laguna Seca, I got a, I took it on a 105 dB day. And I got, uh, because I didn't lift after whatever turn that is, I forget. Um, but where the sound booth is, I got a technical black flag. And so <laughs> this car's too loud for even the 105 days at Laguna Seca. Maybe another downside, but it actually sounds phenomenal in the car. The color on this car is Jello Inti. And that is a gloss color, but I have Stealth PPF on the car. You can actually see maybe perhaps the actual reflective color. And what's cool is it's got a little pearl to it, which gives it a you know, very sort of three-dimensional quality. It helps with the lines. I find colors that accent all the lines of this car are uh, are very good. I think white personally is a bit of a waste because it hides some of the best lines of the car. Um, and anything with like a pearl finish, like as you can see the difference in the shade there, right? And uh, 
I'll actually do a separate interior review video, but just working on the outside. This, I assume, is for the engine cooling. I just think it's so cool. Looks like a, whoops, I just hit my car. <laughs> it looks like a, like a fighter jet. I feel like a lot of this car is inspired by a fighter jet, including the, uh, the starter there, which I'll show you on the inside is one of the coolest things. Um, Cause it's like a button. It's almost like you're firing a missile to start the car. Pretty cool. But yeah, I, I think this is also one of those rare cars where just from every angle, it is very striking. It's very low. There are some compromises to the driving position, perhaps, because of the uh, the styling and how low it is. This car is not for tall people. Luckily, I'm not very tall. I'm 5'9". I know people who are 6 foot and over who just straight up don't fit or don't fit comfortably. But uh, just looking at the inside, from the outside, you can see it's a very cool interior as well. This is what I was talking about. We can go over this stuff in detail in the interior video, but that's your starter right there. That's your ignition. It's a very presentable cabin. It's actually a surprisingly refined car. Um, this is a Volkswagen at the end of the day. I feel like the best of that has made it in. Uh, maybe maybe not with um, what I'm assuming are just parts bin unlock and lock buttons here. But on the other hand, Contrasted by this beautiful forged carbon. And forged carbon is all over this car. As I understand it, this is actually carbon fiber waste that's been sort of repurposed. So it doesn't have the sort of carbon fiber lines uh, and grain as, as you might normally see. It looks kind of like marble. Um, I love it. I know it's kind of divisive, but more importantly, it's lighter. So this actually apparently saves quite a bit of weight. And since the Performante is the track spec version of the Huracan, it makes sense that they'd be trying to save weight. But you will see accents, like that little uh, bit over the steering wheel there on the dash. Uh, and on the inside, all the forged carbon bits are matte satin, and they're gloss on the outside. So yeah, there you go. That's a little overview of this car. I'll definitely miss it a little bit. I'm excited about what I have coming next. I'll uh, be happy for you guys to leave a comment and guess what the next car is. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think I'm replacing this with. I'm, I'm very excited about what I'm going to replace this with. Um, I will miss it because I've had some great experiences with this car. But I don't think I'll miss it so much that I'll regret selling it. Knock on wood. I, I hope I don't. Because um, I'll say other than the... Uh, the GT3 Touring, which I think is probably the most single perfect car ever made up until I had that car. This was definitely my favorite car I've ever owned. Um, it, was, it was definitely special. I'd only really planned on keeping it about a year, year and a half maximum, or well over two years, just because I just really couldn't find anything else that interested me. So it's a special one. I don't know how many of you guys are in the market for these cars maybe not now but maybe in the future but uh if you ever are i do highly recommend this car it's a very sort of emotionally intense and visceral experience but it's extremely easy to drive um i'm sure some of you will find it funny that i'm recommending this car <laughs> i apologize but i really do love it it is wonderful we're gonna say bye now bye bye